What we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at all the different relative sizes of measurement that you may run into. This video is going to be a little bit longer, but it will help you to use these relative sizes in order to convert or in order to really just understand um, a, a different, um, whether it's a unit of length, a unit of weight, unit of volume about a particular object. Let's start with length and distance. Now, some lengths that you might see um, are you might see, let's start with the metric system. You may have millimeters. You start with one millimeter. Millimeters are very small. It takes 10 millimeters to equal one centimeter. And then from centimeters, it takes 100 centimeters to equal one meter. And then it takes 1,000 meters to equal one kilometer. So a millimeter is extremely small, a kilometer is very long. On the other hand, in the US customary system, you could have one inch, which is small, and then it would take 12 inches to equal one foot. It would take three feet to equal one yard. And then you could actually have 5,280 feet equal one mile. So as we could see here, an inch is very small, and a mile, well, that's pretty long. If you've ever run the mile in PE, you know that it takes a while. Next, let's move to weight and mass. And let's start again with the metric system. You could start with one milligram, which is very small amount. Um, one milligram, it would actually take 1,000 milligrams to equal one gram. And then it would take, whoops, that looks like gum. Let's just put one G for gram. And then it would also take 1,000 grams to equal one kilogram. So a kilogram is fairly large, uh, not that large. Um, and a, a milligram is extremely small. You could think of a kilogram as like um, the weight of a bigger book that you might read. Maybe a hardcover book would be about one kilogram. And a milligram is an extremely small amount of weight. It's even hard to describe. It's less than uh, the weight of a dollar bill. So it's extremely small. And on the other hand, a U.S. customary, you could have one ounce there are 16 ounces to equal one pound. And then there are uh, 2,000 pounds equals one ton. So a ton is really big. It's like the weight of a car. And an ounce is pretty small. Capacity and volume, that's how much space something takes up. So um, let's start by thinking of milliliters and liters metric system. One milliliter is very small. It takes 1,000 milliliters to equal one liter. And those are generally the two that you'll see uh, in the metric system are just milliliters and liters. On the other hand, you could have the US system, which has one cup. Then you would need two cups to equal one pint. You would need two pints to equal one quart and you would need four quarts to equal one gallon. So a gallon is the biggest unit of measurement. That's uh, like a gallon of milk is the big jug of milk. And a cup is about the size of a juice box. So a cup is a small amount, a gallon is a large amount. And last we have time, and time is uniform no matter where you are. It's used the same in both the metric system and the US system. You could have one second, there's 60 seconds equals one minute. There are 60 minutes in one hour. And there are 24 hours in one day. Now, all of these are measurements that you may need to use to convert. Um, just remember to always make sure you're paying attention to the units and whether, for instance, it's 12 inches in one foot. It's not 12 feet in one inch, so it's easy to get confused. Just make sure that you're paying attention to which unit is smaller and which unit is larger.